You killed my wife. She was the love of my life. She meant everything to me. Now it's time that you pay, goat killer. When you have to shoot, shoot. Don't talk. The man did love his goat. I will give him that. Hey everybody, how's it going? Well today we are going to take a close up look at the Tuco Special 1860 Conversion Revolver imported by Cimarron Firearms made by Uberti. This is their version of the uh, revolver used by actor Eli Wallach in the movie The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. He played the character Tuco, hence the name the Tuco Special. Cimarron first released the Man With No Name revolver which was used by Clint Eastwood in the movie The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly and then they came out with the Tuco Special. As you can see the Man With No Name revolver it's a simple Colt Model 1851 Navy that's been converted over to cartridge. The Tuco Special it's a little different. They took the frame of a Colt Model 1860 Army and they paired it with with the Leech and Rigdon barrel. Both of these revolvers are cap and ball. Of course the Tuco Special is cartridge so it is a cartridge conversion. The Tuco Special is chambered for 45 Colt or 45 Long Colt. It's the same thing. The correct term would be 45 Colt and you can also shoot 45 Schofield out of it. The 45 Schofield is just a little shorter case than the 45 Colt. All right, let's take a closer look at the gal. So, 1860 Army frame, leech and rigged in barrel. The loading lever is obsolete since we're cartridge instead of cap and ball, but your loading lever is now your ejection ejection rod or pin, whatever you want to call it, and that's what you use to eject the spent cartridges. And it goes right back in just like so. You got to make sure you have this right. You don't want it turned upside down. It'll still fit if it's turned upside down. It'll still lock in there. But there's the correct way. 45 Colt, 6 shot. The hammer has 1, 2, three clicks. There's our rear sight. It's a pinch, pinched rear sight. And then our front sight. So there's your rear and front sight picture. Not bad. The cylinder has the naval scene on it. You got the serial number on the frame and on the barrel. There's your lanyard ring. And then underneath the barrel it says 45 Colt and Schofield. And on, on the top of the barrel we have Cimarron Firearms Company, Frederick, Fredericksburg, Texas, A. Uberti, Italy. Probably won't be able to see that. Yeah, you may be able to. On the man with no name revolver, you can see that back sight. You can drift that left or right for windage. But on the Tuco Special, no dice. It's set. You will get one of these little tools with the revolver. And the revolver has a safety on the hammer. So we're we're going to cock it back two times, second click, and you can see a screw right there. You take this little screwdriver and you turn that screw clockwise until it stops. And right there is the hammer block safety. So that engages the hammer block safety. I'm going to fully cock it here. It's unloaded. And then to disengage it, 
you just do the opposite. Go counterclockwise. I think you might be able to see that. Let me see. And that disengages the safety. Now I've noticed, even though we're disengaged, it's back into the recessed uh, part of the hammer. If you keep turning, you'll unscrew that screw from the hammer block safety. So just make sure you go back, then, then you're good. The wedge. This is different than a cap and ball revolver. On a cap and ball revolver, you don't take the wedge all the way out in order to remove the barrel. This is different. So you can see the set screw that retains the wedge. There is an, an edge that's ground off flat. You take your screwdriver and you turn that screw counterclockwise until that flat edge is facing down. And then you can pop the wedge out. So here's the wedge. It's different than a cap and ball revolver. A cap and ball revolver, that wedge will be grooved out clear up to here. So you have to turn that set screw. Make sure you turn that set screw so the flat edge is facing down before you remove that wedge. If not, you'll damage that screw or that screw head. And then, of course, the barrel pops right off. Put her back in, and then turn that set screw clockwise, and we're good to go. All right, let's load up the Tuco Special. I'm going to load it with five rounds. It's a three-click hammer, so bring the hammer back to the first click. Open the loading gate, and then I'm going to load one, skip one. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that method. Bring the hammer all the way back, drop her on a empty chamber. All right, the target is 10 yards away. Is that five? That was five. I guess I'm used to loading six. Uh, let's see how we did at 10 yards, or how I did. I think I got a couple of flyers, maybe. Let's take a looky loo. Well, I didn't do too bad, better than what I thought I would. I, I have a tendency to pull to the right. I was aiming right here. I got two good shots right there. That one I knew I, knew I pulled that one down. But one, two, three, four, five. So that's probably me right there. So well, I guarantee you that's me. I'm now at seven yards. I'm going to try her again at seven yards, see if I can do a little better job. So I'm going to load five. I did not load one, skip one. No big deal. The good thing about this open top, you can see which chamber is loaded and which chamber is not. So now the hammer is over a empty chamber. I'm just going to pull that hammer all the way back and we're going to go to Pound Town. Kind of shaky. That's five. All right, let's take a look. 
All right, I did a better job there. I've got one. I was aiming for right here. I've got one, two, three, four, and five. And <laughs> let's see how we did. Not bad. Seven yards. One, two. Three, four, and five. <laughs> oh, I see the target now. I hope I hit him. So out of those five, I got a flyer clear over here. So one, two, three, four, and where's five? Where, oh, five. I'm going to try to zoom in on him. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him or not, but if I can even see him in this. Uh, that there is an American bald eagle. So there you have it, the Tuco Special. After firing those 10 rounds of black powder cartridges, it started to gum up. So I'm going to have to lube it a little better next time I shoot black powder through it, but smokeless powder, no problem. You definitely can tell a difference between that 35 grains of Triple F Go-X versus the cowboy action loads, smokeless cowboy action loads. But yeah, I like it and I recommend it. Really nice revolver. It shoots well. I love the sights on this thing. These are by far one of the best sights for these conversions. As far as I can tell, that YouTube, uh, that YouTube short that I did, I think that was the only video on YouTube about the Tuco Special. At least that what I could find. So, evidently they're not as popular as the Man with No Name, but a darn fine revolver. Well, thanks for watching. Take care. Safe shooting. You.